Hi, my name's Matt, and I'm going to show you guys how to load up a 3Shape STL file into your uh, in-lab cam software. So you can see I have a removable flash drive uh, that's mapped to my computer's G drive, and it has an STL file that came from 3Shape. I believe it's a single crown. Um, so I'll show you the process for getting this imported into the in-lab software. So here we are in InLab, and we're going to go ahead and start a new job. I'm going to give this a name 3Shape Demo, and we're going to keep this on the MCX5 for this test. We'll click OK, and now we get to select our units. So what we see here is a list of all previously manufactured units. I'm going to click New Item. And you can see here in this drop-down, I can import cam files, .sci, .stl, .construction info files from ExoCAD, and 3OX files from 3Shape. In our case, we're going to do STL file. I'm going to go to my G drive and select my STL file. Click open, and there's my crown. <clears throat> so basic settings here, we're going to call it a crown. Uh, manufacturing company doesn't matter in this case we can do miscellaneous or actually I think we're gonna do this off of Emacs so we might want to choose Ivoclar or Densply. I think Ivoclar. And so we'll choose the IPS Emacs CAD since we're gonna be grinding out the blocks and we'll leave it as grind in production method. Additional information, we'll go and select our margin line. And basically we just need to click three points here, and then it should link back up. Double click to finish. Okay, so we've collected all of our items. We can move to the next step of selecting the blank. We're sure that we want suitable materials are computed automatically. Uh, let's say no here. <clears throat> okay, so again here we're going to choose a new blank since the Emacs blocks are single use, at least for the one that I'm doing. So we'll choose Ivoclar, material name, Emacs CAD, grinding, blank size, we're going to do a C14, material color, um, I don't have a block in front of me, we'll say it's HTB2. And we could put in a lot number if we wanted to, or uh, enlargement, but that's not a factor here, so let us click the save button. And now we're ready to move forward. So the InLab cam takes care of kind of the default placement. You can hover your mouse over the unit and shift the placement uh, wherever you like in the block. Uh, we'll just keep it kind of centered here. We'll say that's good and go on to sprue positioning. And you can see the cam has also placed the sprue for us automatically. So we don't actually really need to do anything here assuming we're okay with this, which looks good to me. And finally, we'll be um, nesting this in the MCX5 uh, blank holder. Right now it defaults to position one, which is fine. In any case, the machining mode we can set here, so it defaults to a high detail level with the normal speed which is generally what we're looking for, but you could set it to a, a very high, which may use a slightly smaller tool bit to uh, get that anatomical detail. And, yep, we'll keep going forward here. So here is our milling report. If we want to print this out and keep it with the job, we can do it here. Uh, we're just going to go to the next step, which is to check the instruments or the tools that we're going to be using. Uh, so since this is Emacs, we'll want to choose our grinding tools. 
and set this as active. And now we can go ahead and start production. So this is communicating with the machine now and starting the calculation. So this is indicating uh, what tools we have set up and uh, which, yeah, which position uh, the unit is going to be milled out of. And now we just have to click the play button on the mill.